Hey, welcome to Cosmic Tides. We're going to see how the cosmic currents are pulling for Scorpio. This is going to be your beginning to middle of May spread. Links for my Spotify, Apple Music, and SoundCloud will be down below, as well as my email for $20 personal readings. Due to a high volume of requests, I need at least 2-3 days to get them done after transactions, so I appreciate you for your patience. Also, go check out my spiritual store on Etsy. Link is going to be down below. And definitely go check that out because I just added a new item to the shop and I'm going to talk about that more in the ending announcements. And also make sure to go check out my new Instagram. I pull daily tarot cards, I share channeled messages, spells, talk about energy shifts, and I share updates on my YouTube channel and Etsy store. So if you guys are interested in all that, you can go follow me at Cosmic Tides underscore and that information is going to be down below. And before we begin, just keep in mind that these energies can be interchangeable, so feel free to switch around the characters if you need to as we go along. So I see you guys are starting to tune into higher frequencies, okay? I'm actually seeing this as a kundalini awakening. So for some of you who don't know what that is, definitely I encourage you to Google it. Um, but I'm definitely seeing you guys are having an awakening here. I'm also seeing this, like I said, as a kundalini awakening. I definitely see you guys are tuning into higher frequencies. Yeah, especially with this dolphin card here, okay? You guys are tuning in to really high frequencies. I see you're becoming a high vibrational being yourself, and because you are, that's how you're able to tune into these higher frequencies, higher dimensions. That's kind of what I'm getting here. And I see you guys are just finding so much joy within yourself, and I see you guys are spreading so much joy in the world. Okay, yeah, and I see you guys are very wise in this time. I believe it was Aquarius who had owls popping up in their reading, and that was before I got these cards. But definitely for some of you, go check out that reading. They were also dealing with um, some spiritual transformation as well, these higher frequencies. So definitely go check that out. It'll give you some extra information on your situation. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, have Aquarius in your chart, be dealing with someone who has Aquarius in their chart. But definitely go check that out if you guys are resonating with this so far. So you guys are getting a lot of divine knowledge in this time and for me every time I see these dragonflies I'm reminded a lot of ancestor energy okay so I definitely see you guys are working with your ancestors your angels whatever you guys want to believe in I definitely see you guys are working with higher frequency beings you guys are very protected in this time. And I just see you're getting a lot of divine knowledge. And I see you guys are having the bravery to trust in that divine knowledge that is being given to you, especially with how these cards are right now. It's like as above, so below. So I definitely see you guys are getting some divine information here. And again, you guys are having the bravery and courage to trust the information that is being given to you. For some of you, I see you could be light workers or public speakers. Um, for some of you, even singers. I'm seeing definitely for some of you, you could sing. Because um, I'm also seeing this as a songbird here. Um, and it's like the bird is singing its song. And it's just bringing a lot of light and love into the world. It's lighting up the darkness. A lot of the water signs you're dealing with. A lot of spiritual things going on in your life I'm seeing. I definitely see you guys are trusting the divine knowledge that's coming on to you. And you are sharing that with the world. Whether it be through speaking or through song. Yes, because I'm seeing you guys have a hawk's eye view. Your intuition is so on point. You guys have this 360 hawk eye view. So I see your frequency is so high up that you guys are getting this bird's eye view of everything. Okay, you're seeing the bigger picture of things. And you're trusting that the universe made you special. You're trusting in your divine life purpose, whatever that may be. Like I said, for some of you, you're light workers, public speakers, you're singers. Okay, so you are trusting that the universe sent you here to do something and i see you guys are totally embracing that again having the bravery and courage to do that because i see your third eye is so lit up here okay and i just see your gifts are very very strong especially with this bat and the whale okay they both use sonar so i love that these came out together okay because it's like your spiritual sonar is going off like i said you guys have this 360 hawk eye view of everything. You understand the bigger picture of things and where you fit into it, okay? And I see you guys are using your intuition basically as a sonar. And actually, definitely go check out, I think it was the Cancer reading because I think I was talking about their spiritual compass a lot in that reading. Um, so definitely go check that out because I'm seeing it like the same way. You guys are using your spiritual compass, your sonar. 
okay? You don't have to see to actually know where you're going because you're trusting, having the bravery to trust the universe, to trust in your gifts, and to trust in the information that is being given to you. So I definitely see you guys have very strong intuition in this time, very strong gifts and abilities. And again, I just see you're using that to navigate the world. It, like I said, you see the bigger picture and you're trusting your place in it. Okay, so I really, really like that. And again, using your intuition and your gifts and abilities to navigate the world around you. Yeah, especially with how I'm seeing this too. And I was just talking about a spiritual compass because how I'm seeing this is a compass. Okay, I'm, I'm not sure if you guys are going to see the same thing I am, but my eyes are showing me this as a compass. Okay, so you don't need to know exactly where you're going because your intuition, your gifts, this is your spiritual compass. You know exactly where to go. And I see you guys have the bravery to trust this compass because you see things that are not there. You see things that other people do not see. I just see you guys are really balanced between your divine feminine energies as well as your divine masculine energies. And it's like because you guys are balanced, you guys are using this as your strength. Okay, actually, especially with the sword and the stone here, it's like the sword is in the stone. And it's like because you are so balanced in this time, you are like King Arthur. You're the only one able to get this sword out of the stone. Okay, and again, I see you guys are using this as your strength. And again, that's tying me back to here because think about it like for King Arthur, like there is a divine plan literally set in stone for him. It's like he knew what he came into the world to do and I'm feeling that strongly for you guys too. It's like you guys know, like I said, the bigger picture and you know your place in it. And again, I see you guys are trusting that you're going to use that to your advantage and that's like literally what I'm seeing here. Um... Yeah, you guys are definitely like King Arthur here. It's like you guys see that sword and that stone and you know that the universe, God, whatever you want to believe in, you know that they put you here to take that sword out of that stone because you guys are definitely meant to be a leader in the world. That's kind of like what I'm seeing. So definitely some of you guys can be public speakers. Um, you guys can be light workers. You guys can be singers. I definitely see you guys are like in the spotlight. Some of you might be like influencers. I just see it's like when you talk, people listen. Like all eyes are on you. Definitely, like I said, you're in the spotlight or something. And like I said, it's like you know what you came into the world to do and like you're trusting that. Because any obstacle that comes into your way, you guys can get over it easily because you accept that challenges are the best way to learn. You guys are able to find the light in the darkness. I was definitely picking that up for the cancer reading, so definitely go check that out. And I see you guys are releasing any beliefs that no longer assist you in your soul's growth because you want to expand your consciousness and your awareness. I just see for a lot of you, it took you a while to get you to the point where you are now in life, I'm seeing, or to get you to the frequency in which you are currently vibrating. Like, it took you a lot. It took you a lot. It took a long way for you to get there. That's what I'm getting. Okay, and it's like all those challenges that you faced along the way, it's like you are finding the good in that, okay? Because I'm seeing adversity. I accept challenges are the best way to learn. So I definitely see you guys have learned a lot of life lessons that made you so wise here. And again, I'm just seeing you guys are finding the light in the darkness, especially with this lighthouse here. Okay, so I definitely see you guys are being a lighthouse. For some of you, definitely you could be a lighthouse for the world I'm seeing, especially with, um, especially with this card here. Okay, so I definitely see you could be like a public speaker. You could be in, you could be in the spotlight is what I'm seeing. And if you are in the spotlight, I definitely see you're using that to spread some good in the world. Like, you guys are definitely a lighthouse. Like, you're lighting up the world for other people, not only yourself is what I'm seeing. And again, it took you a lot of life lessons to make you this wise. So I definitely see you guys could be sharing that to the world, whether it be from song or from public speaking. And you guys release any beliefs that no longer assist you in your soul's growth. For some of you, I definitely see the life lessons that you've gone through. You may have carried guilt from that or blame or shame. 
um and i just see you guys are kind of being at peace especially with with this card here it's like you understand like what you went through was the best way to learn you guys learned some positive things from this for a lot of you it just gave you a lot of growth okay i want to expand my consciousness and awareness okay so you guys want to expand your consciousness and you want to expand your awareness and you guys are aware that challenges are the best way to learn challenges are the best way to expand your consciousness so like i said you're releasing any guilt you may have carried from some of these life lessons again because you understand that it was just helping you to learn and to grow and i see you guys are understanding that when one chapter closes a new one opens up so again i see any grief or guilt you might have had from previous lessons and cycles again i just see you guys are understanding that this is all for your soul's growth that there's a bigger picture at play here like i said you guys have this hawkeye view of everything you see the bigger picture and you understand your place in it and you understand why certain things had to happen the way that they had to happen okay and i see you're being at peace with that and i see you are grateful for your soul's growth and all the opportunities that these things that these things have led you to okay so i definitely see you guys are literally lighting up the darkness so i really really like that okay so some signs that popped up in here i see taurus aquarius taurus leo scorpio aquarius sagittarius libra leo leo scorpio aries aquarius scorpio Pisces, Capricorn, Cancer. Okay, so that's what I got for you guys. Make sure you check your chart. Whoever you're connecting with, go check out their chart too. Also, go check out my spiritual store on Etsy. Link is going to be down below. And definitely go check that out because me and my mom made some really cool space face masks. So if you guys like space, planets, and constellations, definitely go check them out. They come in a pack of two and the link is going to be down below. And if you want to see what decks I used in this spread, they're going to be listed down below. Also, go listen to my music on all major platforms and SoundCloud. And also, go check out my Instagram, at CosmicTides underscore. I pull daily tarot cards, channeled messages, all that good stuff. So keep being great, and I'll see you next week. Bye!